Does Peter Pan and Wendy suck? You know what? <laughs> Disney live action remakes are like a bad ex-girlfriend that you just keep going back to. You know they're toxic. You know they're bad for you. You know that they've cheated on you. You know that they're just a terrible human being, but there's something about them. You just keep going back to them. You don't learn your lesson. That is how audiences and myself act with Disney live action remakes. So here we are. Hey guys, my name is Brandon, aka The Brando Critic. Thank you guys so much for being with me today. I really do appreciate it. I was able to see Peter Pan and Wendy a few days early, and I'm here to tell you if it sucks or not. I know it's a Disney live action remake, but give it a chance. I did. And honestly, I'm kind of glad I did, but let's go into it. But before we do, guys, let me know, are you guys big fans of Peter Pan? Have you guys read the original novel, the original play? Are you guys fans of the Disney original? Have you guys seen that 2003 one? I feel like every single girl my age who watched that movie growing up had a major crush on Peter Pan. Jeremy Sumter is his name, I believe. But either way, are you guys looking forward to this movie? Whatever your thoughts are, even if you've seen the movie, what are your thoughts of the movie? Leave them down below in the comment section. But does Peter Pan and Wendy suck? Let's dive in. So Peter Pan and Wendy is directed by David Lowry, who has directed The Green Knight and Pete's Dragon. The Green Knight is one of the most beautiful looking movies I've ever seen. And knowing that and watching this movie, I'm like, yeah, this guy knows how to direct a really good looking movie. And it stars Alexander Maloney, Ever Anderson, Jude Law, Jim Gaffigan, amongst many others. And the story is the one of Peter Pan. Wendy, John, and Michael meet Peter Pan and they fly off to Neverland and go off on a bunch of adventures along with Captain Hook. So what did I think of this movie? Well, like I said earlier, this is a Disney live action remake. And I feel like the reason why we have so many of these Disney live action remakes is just because Disney just wants to cash in on the nostalgia for the original. Parents will be like, I remember seeing that as a kid. I have kids of my own. I wanna show them this movie now. And it's a very quick way to make an easy buck. And because of this, a lot of the scripts are very, very lazy. Lion King and Pinocchio, the Disney live action remake versions of those, are some of the worst films I have ever seen in my entire life. Bar none, those movies piss me off more than maybe any other movie I've ever seen. And that's the thing, right? Like, do you just wanna see a shot for shot live action remake or do you wanna see something new, have the same heart in place, the same message, but give us a little bit of a new twist. That's what I'm looking for anyway. And to this film's credit, they actually bring forward some new ideas, some new fresh perspectives, and they do have the heart in the right place. But it's a bit of a mixed bag because you can't have it both ways. Like you gotta go one or the other. You can't just go, we're gonna remake the original and then we're gonna say something new as well. Like it's a, it's a tough act to really balance, but what did I like about the movie? Well, number one, Wendy, Ever Anderson plays Wendy. She's fantastic in the movie. I really thought that they got the casting for Wendy down just really perfectly. She captures that childlike thirst for adventure as well as that mama energy, I guess if you want to call it, especially with the Lost Boys. She really does bring that authority figure, but also that kind nurturing sense as well. And she has that Peter, you know, like that classic British child, I'm a Wendy. You don't know what a Wendy is? Well, I'm a Wendy. That kind of vibe. She captures it perfectly. But Jude Law, I thought he was a perfect choice to play Captain Hook. Now, I will admit, he looks more like a Pirates of the Caribbean villain than Captain Hook sometimes. His hair, I feel like, is a bit too straight. And he does play it for more of a serious tone rather than a comedic tone. It's over the top, but it's more serious than comedic. But he hates that I hate children mentality very well. There is no imagination left with him. He grew up the wrong way. There is no imagination left in his soul. But this movie showcases the lost boy storyline of how Captain Hook actually became Captain Hook. Really go into his backstory and I'm like, oh my God, this movie is showing me something that the Disney original didn't show me. I'm really on board for this. And Jude Law, his performance is really good as Captain Hook. So. I was like, oh my God, we're seeing something a bit different. This is a really good angle to take with it. And it still ties in with the original message of growing up and the dangers of killing your imagination, your childlike wonder, but also the dangers of actually keeping it and not growing up and you stay an infant forever. But it also deals with the topic of friendship and going the separate ways and how friendships can end rather badly. And there's sometimes resentment when friends are no longer friends. I mean, for me personally, my best friend last year decided like unfollow on Instagram, not returning any calls, like just completely done out of nowhere. Like it happens, people go their separate ways and this film really tackles subject matters like that. So I'm like, this is very engaging, very different. It feels fresh, it feels unique. Like more of that, please. There's not enough of it. And the climax, the fun pirate ship battle, the sword fighting, it's all really 
well executed. It's really fun. It's exciting. And I'm going, if I was like eight years old, 10 years old watching this movie, I would have been like jumping in my seat, pretending I was a pirate. Yar, yar. Like it's a lot of fun and it's shot just beautifully. So the climax, I mean, man, well done. Very well done. Now, before I get into the dislikes, I do have to talk about some of the differences in this movie because I'll be honest, guys, I don't like talking about it, but I know people will be asking about it. And I know there are certain people out there who really care about this stuff. So I'm going to bring it up right right now. Yes, number one, Tinkerbell is black. And they kind of have a subplot with her where Wendy can't actually hear her. So I don't know if Disney is trying to go for like a black people being silenced message. People will complain that Disney is forcing in messages. I'm not going to get into that territory. I'm just saying that this stuff is in here. So if you like this stuff, then great. If you don't like it, well, then you might not want to watch it. Number two, Peter Pan. He is not white. Peter Pan is not a white boy anymore. So yeah, there's that, if that matters. I don't know if it does. Number three, The Lost Boys. We have white kids. We have black kids. We have Asian kids. We have a Down Syndrome kid. We also have a girl in The Lost Boys. So if that stuff really pisses you off, then yeah, this movie's not for you. But you guys know that already. You guys know that the Disney live action remakes are not for you anyway. So thanks for watching, though. <laughs> there's no What Made the Red Man Red song. Now that one's obvious. Like, like, come on. And there's no merfolk. There's not that scene where they're trying to drown Wendy. There's like a certain shot of them in this movie, but there's really no merfolk scene. So some people are purists. They might go, where are the merfolk? It was an essential part of the original movie. They're not here. So there you go. People will be asking about it because I know that every single time one of these movies comes out, people will talk about the obvious stuff. And same with Little Mermaid. That's coming out too. People will talk about that stuff too. So there you go. That's what's in the movie. But before we get into what I personally disliked about the movie, hit the like button. Thank you so much. And hit subscribe while you're at it too if you want to see more videos just like this. Thank you so much. Now what I didn't like. There are many scenes in many Disney live action remakes that feel very, hey, this is a Disney live action remake. We need to recreate the magic that people felt watching the original. And then a lot of scenes feel very similar, but very forced, rushed, and empty. Like for example, when the kids first learn to fly, that should be a really magical moment. A moment that really takes its time for us to really feel like, oh my God, these kids can fly. We can't fly. Sorry guys, but human beings cannot fly on our own. This is a very magical moment. And it just feels like it just, went right by. I didn't feel anything watching that. Now, one Disney live action remake that got this right was Dumbo. When Dumbo flew for the first time, I really did feel that childlike wonder, like, oh my God, this is the most amazing thing ever. The kids in the movie didn't. Those were terrible performances, but Danny DeVito in that movie was like, whoa, the incredible Dumbo. Like, yes, that was awesome. The flying scene in this movie, like we finally learned how to fly. Of course, you hear that amazing song in the background. It didn't really feel like anything. A lot of those scenes felt forced, rushed, and just in there because they had to be in there because they were in the original. Not for story's sake, for nostalgia's sake, and it doesn't actually feel like anything. And because of this, a lot of this movie feels like children's theater. I don't feel like I'm watching characters in a story. I really do feel like children are putting on a play for their parents at their local elementary school. It just doesn't feel like a story. It doesn't feel like an adventure. It feels like, like I said, children's theater. But the biggest problem, and I think I'm actually gonna be on the minority on this because I was roasted on Twitter already. Peter Pan in this movie is God awful. Like, oh my God, an absolutely terrible performance. And I get it. He's just a kid. I understand that. But I've seen way better child performances than this. This was so one note. Absolutely no emotion. No wonder. No nothing. This performance was just terrible. And again, be easy on him. He's a kid. No hardships to the kid. Really. I'm sure that kid is a wonderful guy. But I gotta be honest, that performance for the movie is awful. Just straight, terrible, garbage, brutal, any other word you want to use, it really brings down the movie, guys. You might say I'm going to hell. That's just my honest opinion. The lead performance for Peter Pan, the main title character in your movie, sucks. Wendy was great. So thank God that she's actually in the title too, but Peter Pan sucked. You know who would have been good for Peter Pan? Jacob Tremblay. Now I know Disney threw him the big money to be in The Little Mermaid, but I thought he would have been a great choice for Peter Pan. Really, I think he would have been a perfect choice. So the overall question is, does this movie suck? Yes, question mark. It's a lot better than the other Disney live action remakes. A lot of Disney live action remakes really suck the big one. Lion King, Pinocchio, 
Movies like that. And this movie does bring forward quite a lot of great ideas. Some fresh, unique twists to the story, at least to the Disney original. And Captain Hook was good. Wendy was good. There were some fun fight sequences, especially at the end. But when your main character gives a performance like that, and you try to force a lot of those magical moments, you really do feel the clash in this movie, which makes it more disappointing than anything. So as a kid watching this, there's nothing really bad about it, except for Peter Pan's performance. So overall, I'm gonna give this movie a two out of five. It's okay. It was better than I thought it was gonna be, and it does look beautiful, but I gotta be honest, guys, will I watch this movie again? Probably not. I'm gonna show my kids any Peter Pan. It'll be the original and the one from 2003. I thought that one, that's the live action remake of Peter Pan that really does work. It's fun, imaginative, really exciting, funny. This movie feels forced, yet new and fresh at the same time, but really at a clash, which is, again, like I said, very disappointing. So those are my thoughts on Peter Pan and Wendy. If you liked the video, definitely hit like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. But I also want to plug in my Patreon. The link is down below in the description. We have monthly watch alongs every single month where we discuss a movie and we watch it together. Those are a lot of fun. And I give you guys movies every single month. So if you guys want to enter in the contests and see videos early, join the exclusive family of Patreon members down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. See you next time.